now we will try to understand the directory structure and what is what nine steps are not complex steps are simple but time consuming if you want to stop if you want to stop this application you can simply say control C you do you want to terminate this job yes now if you make any if you add any files or you make some major changes like adding the files, deleting the files, then you need to compile and run. That's it. Now you need not to install. Installation is done only once. Now every time you need to say compile and run the application. That is what you have to do. Now, <coughs> let us try to understand the directory structure. Let us not focus on all the files that we see. For now, let us only focus on first file that is your or you can say your folder that is source in this source let us see index file single page app everything is being rendered in your index page that's it now do you see anything new in this page you know index.html index.html is nothing new right so what we see something new in this is this tag this is a new tag you can say or new element you can say or the best term in your angular we call it as component this is the new component you can say app hyphen root now where is the definition for this component and how to define component all these things will lie under your app folder this is the second place that we need to understand our app folder we are going to focus on source folder then we are going to focus on app folder everything is available in this app folder now what I will do I will delete all these things and I want to do everything from scratch our application we are going to develop in our app folder now let me go back to my PPT now this is our index file index.html and in this there is something new that we see is app hyphen root so we call it as component now this file is going to render welcome hyphen angular UI welcome hyphen angular UI that means app underscore root is going to render welcome hyphen angular UI so app underscore root is an element or component that we have defined or we call it as user defined component user defined element or user defined tag the best term is user defined component we are going to define app hyphen root component which will render this now how to define component we define component in our angular 8 using typescript it will be a typescript file dot ts app dot component any component will be post fixed with dot component these are all your code over convention so app dot component we are going to define how to define the component is very simple we are going to use component object using component object we define component at component selector is app hyphen root that is the tag name or element name or component name app hyphen root template wherever I use this it should render welcome hyphen angular UI this component object is available in a namespace so we need to import that import component from angular slash core So definition for this component is in this component namespace we set console dot right line then we said using system similar to that if you are using component then 
it, it is a class or object then you need to import component and app component is also a class I need to export this export class app component I hope you might have learned all these things in TypeScript if I say export then I can use this app component somewhere like we are using component here in the same way app component I can use somewhere as per the coding standards we need to name the class name as Pascal casing of your TypeScript file that is app dot component class name will be app component so we are going to define this class have you understood this class is it something difficult we are going to define this class in our app folder so we are going to create a component app hyphen root we call it as app component so what is component it is an element so in our angular world we talk in terms of component you have header right menu items so that is header component you have body that is body component you have footer that is footer component now body component can be replaced with employee list component create employee form component edit employee form component update employee form component so anything that you see is a component or your page can be divided into various component header is one component center but body part is one component footer is one component so in simple words component is an element it is created as TypeScript file app.component.ts is the root component this is the root component we should always create this and it should be always available in index file we normally do not touch our index file and we add this root component to our index file is this clear let us implement this I'm going to right click and say add new item say TypeScript TypeScript file name of this file as app dot component dot cts I'll say add view okay yes view I'll say toolbox save all so whenever we create a component we need to add class export class app component so that this will be available for any other TypeScript files to use this this is the first step next we are going to create component at component selector app hyphen root you can give any name but this is the coding standards normally we give app hyphen root or you give my app hyphen root whatever you want and template is welcome to angular so I'll make it as h1 tag it is going to display welcome to angular now component is available in show potential fixes import component from module angular core you got import I'll say save that's it we have created a component it is so simple how many components can I can I have in my application so we can have n number of app n number of component not app component n number of components of course app component is the root component but we can have n number of components so there must be a place that unifies all the components there should be a file where you should have information about all the components that you have in your application and there should be some information about where the application should start from so for that we have our next slide app.module.ts so this is the place where we 
unite, combine all the components that we create. And then we will say that your application should start running from this particular component. So your project will have one and only one app.module.ts. This is also a TypeScript file an angular main module class that describes how the application parts fit together now let us see that so app.module.ts so this is the typescript file so this typescript file will have the information about all the components so here you have ng module declaration app component any component that you create you should declare it over here like we have declared app component header component comma footer component comma footer component comma header component comma employee component so any component that you create you should declare here it will come to know that okay there are a lot of components we have now bootstrap means Okay, there are a lot of component, but it should start working from app component. And we have imports. We are importing some module, browser module. Now, what is browser module? Because of this browser module, our Angular app is running on our browser. We are saying that allow this app to run on web browser. So we need to include browser module. So we are using ng module object or class which is available in angular slash core and we are using browser module which is available in angular slash platform hyphen browser. So we are in importing these namespaces. These are predefined modules from your angular library but there is one more component that we are using app component which is user defined and it is available in app dot component so import app component so we are unifying everything over here and as usual app module is a class again I need to say export class app module So this is the main app module. So what is ng module and what is browser module? So in our app folder, we are going to add app.module.ts and ng module. Like see in our app folder, we added app.component.ts in the same way I will add app.module.ts. Now from here, what is ng module? ng module describes how to combine and compile all components together you have all that information over here this is this is very important this will grow large slowly and steadily we will see and what is browser module provides services that are essential to launch and run a web app in our browser or run a browser app is this clear I have tried to break each and every part of our app dot module and try to simplify it as much as possible and explain it. So let's implement and see. I'm going to create app dot module dot ts new item TypeScript app dot module dot ts. First thing first, export app module class. Second, ng module we need. Declarations, imports and bootstrap. Now ng module is available in angular hyphen core. Browser module is available in it is not showing so I need to add explicitly if it shows in the IntelliSense that is well and good otherwise it is our job to do that I'm going to add browser module 
which is available in angular slash platform hyphen browser and app component let's save all again I need to import app component I'll give some space and I will say import app component from dot slash app component that's it semicolon save it is this clear or do anybody have any kind of doubt these are predefined modules we are importing and these are our user defined component so I have given some space there must be a difference declare the component that you are using import browser module what we need bootstrap means start from app component save all now I will say ng build so it has got built successfully now I will say ng surf it should be available for us to access so it is up and running now I'll go to the browser I will say localhost colon 4200 welcome to angular this is what we have given in our template